Morning. This is one of the schools taking in students from Robb Elementary. Schools like this added layers of security, including this eight foot non scalable fence. Meanwhile, across town at Robb Elementary, that school is closed and remains closed. A grand memorial adds color to one of the darkest tragedies in Texas's history. The May massacre of 19 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. It's very sick to my stomach because no kid should be treated like this. From one student to another, what's your message to them on their first day back in class? I hope um, you have so much fun. I hope nothing happens, you know. Sorry. It's very sad. Being here hits a little differently. Yeah, it does. It does. It hits a lot harder than seeing it on TV. How has this incident changed you as an educator? It has made me realize that everything can change in a moment. It's given me a lot more patience to work with them. With patience comes perseverance. From one Texas town to another, the state is Uvalde. And as you can see, emotions here are still very strong. I want to mention within the past few minutes, DPS officers just arrived here to Benson Elementary. We've also seen what appears to be faculty and staff making their way into the school. School begins at 740 this morning. In addition to this fence, counselors will be here on this campus and campuses throughout the district. DPS officers, 33 in total, will be at schools across the district, and additional security cameras have been added to school campuses. We're live in Uvalde. I'm Zach Lajway, KPRC 2 News.